And, yeah, welcome back to Extreme Sports. Last time, um, I, I took on the Bonehead because I couldn't find the, the not Bonehead. Oh, yeah, did you have to find him? No! I don't think there's a goon for that area. Unless he's, like, way out of the way, which would just reek of questionable game design. I'm thinking Way Forward just didn't put him in. Goon! <laughs> huh. There's somebody down there. Wait a minute. Every time you walk in that grass, I think you're gonna encounter a wild Pokemon. Oh. Did you say something about, um... Getting the backgrounds on your computer to stop changing because every time they change, it causes the program to judder. Yeah, to I was gonna do that before you started the recording. Eh. Yeah. Eh, yeah, forget it. I think I figured out where the goon is. And he is kind of out of the way, and it's a bit ridiculous. Okay, here we go. To the water! Didn't you actually beat the head? Of yeah. Hey, here we go. Yep. Because they put the goon... If... If I am correct, and I maybe might be M, possibly... Oh, wait. I think I went out of my... I think I went the wrong way. Where are you, goon? Well, that's a goon, but that's not the goon. The goon of the lagoon. I saw an island with, like, a little ramp that you're supposed to swim up to. Where has this stupid goon gone? <laughs> no idea. Where the goon gone? Where the goon gone? Oh, here we go. Huh. This island... Is it shaped like anything to you? Boobies? Or butt? Butt boobies? How did I ever get stranded for this bikini-clad Amazon? Heh. <laughs> bikini. Bikini Island. Shark Yep, yeah, this is the goon I was looking for. This is the goon you were looking for. This is the goon we were looking for. So the goon wasn't gone. You can go about your surfing. You can go out of surfing. Surf along. Surf along. Surf along. <laughs> hey, got it. Oh, that was nice. Good job. Ooh, into the drink. Uh, it looks like a very orange flavored drink. Woo. Stars, stars, stars. Stars in the ocean. Mm hmm. Ting, 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 ting. I've already beaten the bonehead boss. You're nothing to me, goon girl. Indeed. Indubitably. I still find it hilarious that Jelly Jiggler is the narrator of One Piece. <laughs> Indeed. That, that voice you were doing, that's what reminded me of Jelly Jiggler, because he's got that, that kind of voice. You're a gunner, gooner! 
You destroyed her. I lost my medals. What a bust. <laughs> what a bust. You're standing on Boob Island and you say, what a bust. The bikini bust of Boob. What does that girl say? This sunbathing spot is called Bikini Island. What's up with that? Wow, so this this is actually called Bikini Island. Yes. <laughs> were, were you just making a joke? Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like the joke was on you. I started a joke, which started the whole game cry. <laughs> The bodacious beat down Bikini Island babes. <laughs> that, or some shit that like that. Is accurate. Oh I have absolutely no idea where the next area I need to go is. Oh boy. Looks like we're winging it. Honestly, I think the final few areas of the game are kind of open to me now. Oh, cool. Go forth, young guppy! Blah. Hmm, excuse me. Go forth, young burpy! Guppy grinded a goon into... Gone. I don't know. I had nothing to say. I always find it funny that people are always like, ah, Professor Oak, boy and girl thing. He's always asking that. We're in, that actually didn't happen in the original game. <laughs> it wasn't a thing he could do in the original game. Well, this, this is a new area for me. Yeah, look at all these people standing up. You need to make them sit their asses down. Sit down in the sweltering lava. Take a bath like Diddy and Dixie. This cavern runs out into the heart of the steamy volcano. My shoes nearly melted. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this Goron tunic is great. I can take all this heat. So are you going to move? My shoes are melted to the floor. <laughs> Street lunch. In a volcano? Oh gosh, they started me out right next to the lava. Oh gosh, oh. Did... Oh boy. I don't feel like I've seen you play this one for a while. Yeah. Whoops. I don't need points, I just need. Speed. And I'm going to lose. Most likely. Uh, we'll oh. thread it that one. Oh, I uh, know! Do do do! Yeah, I already lost. Those puddles sound like laser beams. Pew pew! Pew pew pew! You wouldn't know by looking at me, but I'm over 40. Over 40 seconds? <laughs> is that is that what you're trying to tell me? As in your 40 seconds of fame are over when we beat your ass! And beat your record! <laughs> go, Guppy, go. Go, Guppy, go. You're in an actual inferno. Okay. <laughs> go, Guppy, go. Don't burn the, don't burn yourself down. trouble with this guy. I... I mean, I'm... 
My friends call me honey because I'm so sweet. Wow, she looks mad at you. Honey is really mad at you. I've seen you race before. I was the kid throwing eggs at you. Eggbert? <laughs> That's funny. There's a lot of jokes in this game with the character names and locations. A lot of jokes in this game with the character names and the locations and the puns. And that one always gets me, then I'm done. Alright, Eggbert. Let's see if you're an Eggspert. Or just a chicken chump. <laughs> Those sound like rankings in chicken based video games. Chicken chaser! So, have you ever heard of this fighting game called Fight Them's Fighting Herds? No. Okay, I gotta tell you about this game. Is it bad? It sounds bad. It actually looks like it's really gonna be good. Um, but it's basically... It started out as someone made... Some people got together and they made a really well animated... Oh good, you beat them. They made a really well animated My Little Pony fighting game. Like, phenomenally well animated. But let me guess. DMCA takedown or some shit? Yep, pretty much. So they had to change all the characters. Uh-huh. Well, that was that's just rotten luck. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. So that now you got instead of just ponies, you got deer and 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 donkeys and all kinds of different uh, four-legged beast beasties. Huh. By the way, speaking of that, did we ever explain that we were going to record Metroid Prime Hunters, but uh, we were running into recording trouble? Yeah, weird frame rate issues at random. <laughs> And in that episode that I was going to record, I was going to mention to Mark that it's basically been almost all but confirmed at this point that Bandai Hanco is the company working on Metroid Prime 4. Yes, I, I also heard about that. What do you think? Well, they're actually people from EA that got can that were working on a really good-looking Star Wars game. Huh. That single-player Star Wars game that EA can yeah. Yeah, those people are working for um are working for Bandai Namco and they're the ones working on Metroid Prime. Interesting. It's like Nintendo looked into that and like interesting. <laughs> it's like we could use this. Anyways, that's that's been this episode. It went on for a little bit longer, but that's because that goon was gone. The goon was gone. At least you finally found finally. Oh, that's it. We got the subscription button if you want to be notified about our videos. And we got a playlist. For and if you subscribe, points. make sure to click the bell. And also, don't forget to comment and to tell us what you liked and what you didn't like and how we can improve. Or just to call us a big piece of shit. Heads or tails? We can't tell because this game doesn't have good enough graphics. Even if it did, we're too far away. Exactly. Bye.